Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, karibu, karibu, karibu sana. I'm trying to keep up with the vlogmas uh, thing, though I'm not feeling well. But anyway, the space still remains a space where we will explore different recipes from all over and from different people. That means you could be one of them here. My name is Erika and I'm happy to have you here. Karibu. Today our recipe, huh, we are doing bananas. You know, uh, these green bananas, sometimes they get ripe so fast before you make them. There is a way I do it and it's gonna be mm, super. So I have my bananas here. What I'm gonna use is I have my bananas here and peel. I'm gonna peel them. So they are, some of them are almost ripe. So peeling will not be an issue. So I'm going to be using tomatoes as well and I'm going to be using onions, I'm going to use oil, uh, salt and a beef mix, my case I'm using oil. So I'll put some oil on my hands just to avoid the liquid from the bananas to stick in my hands. That's a trick that I learned from my mom. Then I'll start peeling the bananas. Some of them are ripe by the way, so it's easy to work them out. After peeling, make sure you thoroughly wash them. Then now it's time to start arranging them in the sufuria. What I do, I'll put the onions and tomatoes first as a base. Then I arrange the bananas pretty well. Then after arranging the bananas, let's wait and see what I'll do later. So after the first layer, we do the same thing we did to the base. We put some tomatoes, some onions and some beef mix as well. Remember we are just trying to make it evenly spread, make the tomatoes and onions evenly spread uh, within the bananas. Then we do another layer and do the same onions tomatoes then another layer yes so we are done with all that we put, we put a beef mix we add in oil some salt a bit of some salt because now it is sweet they are sweet the bananas are sweet then we add in a bit of some water to cook then later we cover and it's going to be ready to be cooked 
be put on the burner so once we've covered it very well we put it on the burner and light the fire give it a few minutes to cook then we'll see what happens later the bananas have been cooking for about 20 to 25 minutes and this is what uh, the outcome next we are going to mash the bananas as though we are cooking ugali i'm using a, a cooking stick but if you have a masher this would be much easier you can use a masher but now myself i'm cooking it as though i'm cooking ugali just to make sure i mash everything up it all depends on how you would like it lumpy would you like it lumpy or less lumpy more lumpy less lumpy anyway but i like mine completely mashed so yeah let's see the outcome So my dinner is served. Mm -hmm. The banana is so sweet. So I have banana here. I have carrots, the sugared carrots, and some beef stew. By the way, if your bananas are not ripe, you can use the green bananas, but you'll have to add sugar to get the sweetness out of it. So yeah, I'm so happy you got to this point. This is Vlogmas, I guess, day, day four or five. Thank you very much. Always remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm so happy you got to this point. And always remember to live, laugh, and love. Thank you very much and hope to see you in my next one. Goodbye.